Jen and welcome to my studio and today we're going to be doing a very short and sweet technique exercise using my 16 count cramp roll. Now if you've never seen my 16 count cramp roll, it's like my version of it. There's a ton of different ways to do a 16 count cramp roll, but we're going to use my version of it. I'll go over it today, but also I have a whole tutorial on it. I have one on TikTok and Instagram actually, but also I have an entire video on it in my tutorial or my step tutorial playlist right down in the description. So if you need to learn the step, check out that video and then come right back to this. But I'll also go over it. So it's like any level can do this as long as you're okay with a toe stand. It does have toe stands in it, so make sure that you do this safely. You do not do toe stands on tile with tap shoes or without tap shoes at all. Like make sure that you have proper footwear for a toe stand and always with a toe stand make sure in tap you have bent knees and so that the weight is carried here and not all on your toe because these shoes are not made to support your weight from your toes that's what point shoes are for these shoes are not made for that so make sure that you're supporting your weight from here and keeping a nice bent knee those are my disclaimers okay let's get started also if you haven't already subscribed to this channel do the thing all right, so it starts with the 16 count cramp roll, which is a regular cramp roll, step, step, heel, heel. Then you click your toes and then toe, toe. Oh, that was so satisfying. All right, so you click your toes together and then drop right toe, left toe. And then you do the same thing with your heels. Click your heels together, drop heel, heel. And then you have toe, toe, step, step, heel, heel. So you go toe stand, toe stand, ball of the foot, ball of the foot, drop your heel, drop your heel. So it's one and two and, or let me count the actual things. So it's the cramp roll, the toes, the heels, and then the toe stand, what I call a waterfall, because it goes toe, toe, step, step, heel, heel. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 16. What's cool about it is that A, it has 16 counts, which is like awesome. And B, it actually like has a cramp roll in the beginning and a cramp roll at the end. Like a straight up regular cramp roll. It starts with and it ends with, which is just so cool. Alright, so let's try it all together. Step, step, heel, heel, click, toe, toe, click, heel, heel, toe, toe, step, step, heel, heel. Just to make sure we got it. If you need more in-depth videos down there. Good. Okay, so you start with that. Then you just did toe, toe, step, step, heel, heel. Then you have toe, toe, heel, heel. And then you come back, toe, toe, heel, heel. So you're going out and then back in. So these are little crawls. So toe, toe, heel, heel to spread your feet apart. And then toe, toe, heel, heel to come back. So you start with turning in. And then two paradiddles. And that's the entire sequence. So that last part is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So you have sixteen count for the cramp roll and then sixteen count for the rest of it. Okay? The challenge here is keeping it even. That is always the challenge with these because we're going to want to rush some of the cramp rolls or maybe the crawls. Don't rush them. Keep your weight evenly distributed and make sure that you keep everything even. Okay? So that last part. Toe, toe, heel, heel. Toe, toe, heel, heel. Paradiddle, paradiddle. Okay? Let's try that together. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. And. Good. Okay. Let's try putting the whole thing together. From the 16 crown curve roll into the crawls. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Fantastic. Okay, let's do that one more time. Then we're going to try it on the left. Ready? One more time on the right. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, Okay, 
So now, let's try it on the left side. So start everything with the left. Every cramp roll, every crawl, every toe, everything starts, every phrase starts with the left foot. It's hard, it's hard to do that when you're so used to starting, because like after the toe click, you're gonna wanna put your right toe down first. And oh, I hate it when I like try to go for like a nice good toe click on camera and it's just like meh. <laughs> but toe click, toe toe. Make sure it's left first, okay? So let's try the whole thing starting from the left foot. Five, six, seven, eight. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and toe, toe, heel, heel, toe, toe, heel, heel, air, little, air, little. Awesome. Okay, let's do it one more time on the left, okay? Make sure we have it on the left. Five, six, seven, left. Fantastic. I told you, short and sweet uh, technique exercise today, just because I wanted to make sure that I was able to film a technique exercise today, but as you can see, this isn't cooperating, and my voice is completely shot from a dance competition, but I wanted to make sure I got one filmed. Let's try that with music on the right and then on the left, just for good measure, and then I will let you go about your day. All right, so let's try that on the right, and then I'll count you in. We'll do it on the left. One and two and three and four and so it's a little quick, that's your tempo, okay? So it's one and two and three and four and five and six. We got this. Five, six, five. articulation of feet and articulation of rhythm, keeping it even. It's so important to have that space between your notes. So if you're a teacher, this is a great exercise to bring to class as long as your students are okay with toe stands for now. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining me for this. It was a lot of fun for me to teach. I love the 16 count cramp roll like so much. Um, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, hit the subscribe button and join the TAP fam. We've got technique exercises like this, choreography tutorials where you can learn a combination, uh, step tutorials like I mentioned in the playlist below, so you can learn just a step, whole videos dedicated to one step usually, and then uh, we have vlogs and challenges, all kinds of fun stuff, so make sure that you subscribe and become a part of the fam. Um, it's my subscriber milestone is a little far away right now, but I want to reach it. So make sure that you subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Also hit that thumbs up because it helps the algorithm know people like tap dance and we do. So subscribe, thumbs up. And as always, thank you for dancing with me.